Hey guys, I'm back. I just got done filming the Jaclyn Hill palette tutorial, so if you did not go see that, go check that out. Um, the colors and everything were absolutely amazing. The palette is definitely a A++++. It's amazing, so definitely go check that out. This is going to be my monthly favorites. I can't believe June is almost or by the time this video goes up, it will be over. I cannot believe June is already over. This, this has been going by so fast. Like, literally the other day, my husband goes, well, yeah, next weekend's 4th of July. And I was like, no, it's not. He's like, you're an idiot. Yes, it is. And I was like, you're probably right. So, here we go. This is my June hits and misses. Um, I actually do have some misses this time. I don't know if I had them last time or not. But... As I told you, if you saw my haul video, I had lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff to try out. And so I definitely have some favorites and some not so favorites. So first off, I'm going to start off with the Beauty Shield collection from e.l.f. This launched earlier this month and I can't even hold it all in my hand. So here's some of it. I have the Massaging Overnight Recovery Cream, the... SPF 50 Skin Shielding Moisturizer in the Universal Tint. I have the Vitamin C Pollution Prevention Serum. And I have the Daily Defense Makeup Mist. I also got in... Ah, so many things sticking to it. The Recharging Magnetic Mask. I just tried this bad boy out the other day. And I actually was... I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And it, normally, I really don't think masks do anything for me. Yes, they... They can moisturize, but other than that, sometimes I feel like I'm wasting my time. Well, I'll say majority of the time I feel like I'm wasting my time. But this one did exactly what it said it was going to do. I I don't have the thing with me right now where it says what it did, but it was like very like it says recharging. It my skin just felt so amazing and so smooth and so silky and looked brighter. So. A plus on that one, Elf. Um, you guys know I'm a huge Elf fanatic because of the price point. And I absolutely just love it. Like, even my husband said the other day, my skin looks so clear and so good. And I was like, what? Guys don't notice that kind of crap. So, it just smells so good. Like, even if it didn't do anything, it smells so good. Like, it smells like the tropics like orange juice and pineapples and sunshine all mixed in a bottle like I love it so kudos to elf that is definitely a hit um, next up is going to be the infamous Bosha jelly ball cleanser so I've been trying it out I really like the smell it has like this weird <laughs> like really clean and I, I know I keep comparing it to like hotel soap but you know how like a, a nice like a really nice hotel but like you go to say a four or five star really nice hotel and they just have like those like fancy soaps it smells so good it's not a bad thing at all and I just really really liked it it, it was it looks so gimmicky and like I was really really curious and I'm still kind of curious on how long it'll last but I love it and I love Bosha so much so kudos to them another one that I was really really surprised with was the Tarte friction stick so the first time I used it I did not read all the instructions which was my own fault and I sat there and I like rubbed it in rubbed it in rubbed it in and I noticed like my stick was just dwindling and I'm like um I did not just spend almost $30 for something to just disappear right before my eyes. And then I read it and it said apply and then rub in with your fingers and I was like, okay, maybe I should read the directions. So after I started doing that, I really do like it. Um, it's just a lot more convenient to me than, you know, getting traditional scrubs, which I mean, it's not like you're saving that much more time, but I like that I can just throw this in my bag and not worrying about it busting everywhere. Like That's like my number one fear is that bottles are going to bust in my bag while traveling and ruin all my makeup. So, um, yeah, I really, really did like that. What else was on my list? Oh, I got this in my last BeautyCon box. This was the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. I 
have a, quite a few other lip products from them, but I've never tried like their liquid products. I've only had like their lipsticks, their lippy sticks. This was amazing, and I am a sucker for bright colors. Like me putting this nude on is like rare, and I'm going to take it off as soon as I get off the camera. I love it, don't get me wrong, but I just never do nudes. Like I always do bright colors because they just, I don't know, I just love them so much. So this one is in the shade London Fog. It was not an exclusive color, which is great. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I do have another e.l.f. product. Um, I just had to restock these the other day. I'm sure I've talked about them before. Maybe not on my channel, but at least in my blog. But these are the e.l.f. Makeup Removing Cleansing Gloss. They're better than me. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say every cloth out there because obviously I've not tried them all. But of the ones I've tried, let's. I've, I've tried just about every single drugstore one. And these are the best, and they're the cheapest. Um, I just like how they're packaged because you get this hard plastic here, so they don't dry out. It's not just those wipes that just have that. They have that and, and that, and they smell really good. I, I smell everything. I know that's really weird, but I do. And these are bomb. Um, of course, of course, I have to give it up to this palette. Um, it was absolutely amazing. My last video, I tried it out, but I didn't really give a good review. I just realized that. And so, from the packaging to everything, this palette is amazing. Um, yeah. So I won't, I won't keep beating a dead horse with that one. Um, I also, for this month, in the past couple months, I just haven't talked about them really, um, are the House of Lashes. So I'm wearing the Siren on my eyes right now. These are boudoir, but they just make some of the best lashes and they have the best eyelash glue. It's not a squeeze tube. It literally comes in like a little, like, ooh, ooh, painted on. It starts off green, which really freaked me out because I'm like, this is supposed to be black as black. Starts off green. And turns black. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay. Last but not least, this Morphe Prep and Set Spray is probably the best product ever made on God's Green Earth. Literally, put a little on before you do your makeup, put it on after you do your makeup, and it will not budge. And I live in the deep south where it is humid as heck and super super hot every single day rarely get a breeze and this stuff i ain't melting i ain't going nowhere mm -mm. no creasing no fading here because it's amazing love 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 this i was going to order more when i ordered the palette it's sold out so hopefully morphe gets on it and gets some more in okay now let's go to some misses Ugh. okay the first miss, I'm not going to say I hate it, and I'm definitely going to try it some more and give it another couple chances, but it is these, this e.l.f. Aqua Beauty eyeshadow palette. I got it in the color Island Breeze. It has a really bomb mirror on it, so I won't blind you. The colors are so, so beautiful, and I'm just so upset. I look like a man. What is going on? Anyways. I was so upset with it. I even bought the brush that goes with it, hoping that that would make a difference and like make them go on. They went on, but it just took so much blending. They are this kind of strange like texture, like moussey, creamy, I, I don't know. So I expected really good things from them, but I was disappointed and look it has good pigment maybe I'll try with my fingers but it just it didn't work on my eyes it didn't blend well which was really really sad um, another huge huge miss sadly because I wanted this to work so bad I even I'm, I'm glad I didn't end up buying it myself which I guess I did because I get my I pay for my beauty com box but <laughs> this silicone applicator like can someone leave me in the comments below if there's like some trick to making this work because I'll admit like the first time the beauty blender came out I hated it 
I hated it. I used it once, threw it in the trash, and I was like, I'm never using this again. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, and then I kept seeing everybody using it, everybody using it. Blah, 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 blah. So I was like, fine, I'll give it another fair chance, and now I love it. But, ah, I just realized I forgot a favorite. I'll say it after this. Anyways, I hate this thing. It is streaky, it is smeary, it's smudgy, it's every adjective I could possibly think of to not blend out. It might save your makeup from wasting it, but not really, because it does not blend at all. So, sadly, the last, the summer beauty con box was just kind of a fail. This mascara was in there, and I don't want to say that it's terrible, because I'm sure it works for some people. That's how every product is. It just was not for me. It was the Mana, I'm assuming I say that right, Kadar Flutter, Mas Flutter Mascara Jet Black. And look at this gigantic brush. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. What? It's huge. And it's not good. It's not like the Better Than Sex mascara brush. That one's bomb. I love it. This one gets really, really fat. Then really, really, really skinny. And then kind of fat. It's so bizarre and I thought maybe oh maybe it's good for like bottom mascaras because you know some will put those balls on the top no hot freaking mess total total miss um, another miss sadly for me was the Jante blue um, eyeliner and like I said I live for blue eyeliner but this one goes on your hand really nicely feels really creamy but when I tried to put it on my eye, it like kind of dragged. It was not as creamy and smooth. I'll give it another try. I did only try it once, but. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think that's it. The only other thing that I tried and I'm still on the fence about is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Liquid Liner. I haven't used a liquid liner since I was probably like 16 or 17. And I left the liquid liner world and went to gels and I use gel liner almost every single day. This is my ride or die. It's Fluid Line Black Track by MAC. Best gel liner ever. Um, so I really, I was really trying to give this another go to do those sharp wings, but, ah, but it's just, they're so, so liquidy. I do like pens though. so keep trying and keep trying until I get it, I guess. All right, guys. So that's it for my hits and misses this month. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave your favorites and your misses, whatever you liked this month and didn't like in the comments below. I love reading it. And if there's a product that I haven't tried that you're dying over, I want to go try it. So please leave me comments in the below. Please subscribe on your way out and I uh, will see you next time. Bye guys.